Chrysalis, we help people who've been homeless uh, get their lives back together by helping them find jobs. And uh, it's funny, when I think of an environmental report, I think of uh, how something affects the living beings in, or the living things in that community. And my experience with Kasdan and with their projects is that they care about senior citizens, they care about low-income people, they care about at-risk people. These are the living things that live around here. But you know, there's this, there's this Chinese proverb that says that one generation plants the trees and the next generation gets the shade. And in order for this community to, to survive and to, and to grow in the right way, you're going to need the properties along Santa Monica Boulevard, connecting with Gateway, to bring everything together here. Mr. Duncan. Second, we have a water shortage in California, and it's serious. Secondly, when we get our state senator, Barbara Boxer, starting to send us emails telling us to conserve and get used to doing with less power, and we're going to have close to 400 units with air conditioning, drawing on the grid. I'm an advocate for low-income housing, particularly for seniors and disabled. Uh, because of the limited amount of space in West Hollywood, it is rare that there's an opportunity to build any sizable uh, building for uh, low-income housing. Living in this big project will now be able to walk to a coffee shop, to a restaurant, to a market, to a bank, to a beauty and barber shop, and so on, means that their cars will stay in the garage and not be on Santa Monica Boulevard or the other streets. I think this is one of the things they really need to uh, research because I think this will make our traffic better. I enthusiastically supports this project. And so we hope that you feel that the redevelopment of the city, according to what we see here, really will bring uh, a better city to all of us giving an opportunity for senior citizens for the first time to have some amazing housing in an amazing location, to continue to offer retail space for all the people who live here, and also to increase the amount of uh, rentals and the amount of condominiums and space people have so we can still have a very vibrant city and to redevelop the east side in a beautiful, ecologically correct, and, and wonderfully done way. So. Good evening, my name is Joseph Clapsaddle. It's good to see so many of you out here tonight. I am uh, with the Chamber of Commerce in West Hollywood, and I'm not gonna take a lot of your time, but I would like to just plant some seeds for your thinking. This is an opportunity with this property that is only going to come along once every 50, 75 years. And to have a company, the caliber of Kasdan, to come in and take control of it with a design which integrates into the community, uh, offers us housing, affordable housing, and gives us an opportunity to really maximize, uh, and from the city standpoint, and from the chamber standpoint, increase tax revenues from the businesses. I think this is an incredible thing. I'm very familiar with a lot of things. And I must tell you, despite what Mr. Clapsaddle just said, that uh, the Chamber has never seen a development they didn't like. Yeah. The underlying zoning of this property is 35 feet and three stories. And uh, the, the many, many developers who see West Hollywood as a target want a lot more than that. And with two 10-story buildings, uh, a six-story building and two five-story buildings, they're going to be exceeding that course. And the reason is that our zoning ordinance and our general plan say certain things, but everybody wants an exemption to them. I feel that at 10 stories, this is a monster project. I also wanted to point out that if uh, all of the people who are living, who are uh, going to be here, if only one and a half uh, there was only one and a half person per occupancy here. It would be almost 600 new people that would be here. As a kid, this was called the Boys Market. And um, so there has been a one-story uh, shop strip mall here for a very, very long time. We're going to make, be making some very, very big changes by increasing the density in this site. 
One of the things that's going to be lost, although Kasdan Properties has been doing a lot to listen to the community, uh, there are three properties here now that have long-term leases. They are Trader Joe's, okay, which we love, okay, Yukon Mining Company, which people have less interesting things to say about, and the Burrito Place. Two restaurants and a grocery store. We are guaranteed to have retail space for those three, only three businesses so far. My name is uh, El Nucci and I also live directly across the street. I also have a business directly across the street. And uh, my new neighbor also has a home and a business directly across the street. So for us personally, this is really affecting uh, uh, us. And for her, she just found out about this yesterday before she got the home and the business. So, I mean, after she already got the home and the business. So obviously our, uh, my main concern, being a late sleeper, is what the construction with the noise is going to do. Her business is a silent business where there needs to be quiet. Um, I mean, just construction two blocks away from the shopping center that's sitting empty um, next door to my office was very loud. Well, I came to say one thing, and let me preempt it by saying another. You're talking about height. Well, if you look to the rear right here, there's an outrageously ugly parking garage that is eight stories high with no greenery. This project is going to be varied, starting at four or five feet high in the front, full of lush, gorgeous greenery, and going in scales to the back. It's providing 76 units of affordable housing and it's needed. My point was to come today and talk to you about this parking lot and the many problems we've had over the years in this parking lot. Everything from small robberies, burglaries, to shootings. One of the things I want studied is how traffic affects traffic going into Los Angeles. This project will be approved or not by the city of West Hollywood. I live in Los Angeles, down Poinsettia, during construction. Um, you know, will they allow big construction trucks going up and down into that residential area? And also following um, the completion of the project, just the general traffic note. 